Well, the iPad's been out for a few weeks now. In the first seven days since the device's release, there were 3,000 applications designed specifically for Apple's iPad. And joining us here on Ahead of the Curve is ABC News technology contributor Andrea Smith, who has an iPad with her to describe and show some of these new applications. And they're really fun. You know, a lot of them are free. Some of them you pay for. And the iPad apps are a little bit more money than the iPhone apps. But I have to tell you, on this beautiful screen, on this much bigger screen, they are worth it. All right. So you can do a whole bunch of things with your iPad. Of course, you can uh, play music like you can with the iPhone. You can uh, write emails, but you can also read books. You can read books. And iBooks is a wonderful, wonderful app that Apple has done because they've done it in such a way that makes it so engaging and it looks just beautiful. This is the iBooks app. And the first thing that it does is when you go to your library, you just, you've got a bookshelf here. You've mm -hmm. got a completely wooden bookshelf, and it's so cute. You just want to load it up with books. The Winnie the Pooh book is what it comes with, and I don't know, um, I'm going to try to do it really slowly here, but you just, you scroll here, uh, and you can something. see the page turning. Huh, and so it's fully dynamic. It's just so engaging, or you can do it really, really quickly. Um, and you just load your books up here, and you can purchase books from within the iBooks app here. That's something the Kindle app can't do, even though Kindle made an app for the iPad. They can't do it because you can't multitask on this. You have to go out of that app in order to purchase books. But still, if you have a Kindle, you can read your books on the iPad. Got it. All right. That's, so that's for reading books. Yes. Uh, a different kind of book, if you like. Uh, it's a little more graphical. Yes, Marvel Comics. That's become really, really popular. Um, people have this app. This is a free app. It comes loaded with... Um, Let's get it going here. Mm -hmm. It just renders beautifully on this screen. Mm -hmm. It comes, it's free. The comics are $2 each. You can scroll through here. It comes with a few free um, comic books in the beginning. And you just kind of scroll through and you can get full um, page rendering. You can get a preview and you get really big crystal clear panel by panel um, comic books, and it's great, and it's really, I think, going to do a lot for bringing back comic books. No kidding, especially since it's such a vibrant graphical screen. Yep. Um, and let's just take a look real fast. This is what uh, a, basically a comic book would look like if you downloaded it. This is a preview, but yeah, you can, if you buy them, they come absolutely full screen, and you can see panel by panel. You can oh, scroll neat. through them. Cool. All right. Um, you can also watch movies, of course, on this thing, and that's really one of the big draws. You know, that's what's great. You take this with you. You can watch movies on it anywhere you are as long as you have that Wi-Fi or 3G connection. Um, Netflix is a wonderful app to have on here because if you have a Netflix account, you can watch your movies anywhere on their Stream It Now service. Mm. Um, I love this because... I use it. My son uses it, so I can kind of see what he's been watching away at school. I'm sure he loves it, that. Yeah, <laughs> I can catch up on him. It'll show me my queue. It'll show me what's coming on my queue. It'll show me what I have available to watch instantly. And it shows me um, what I've seen. So I can kind of, you know, b go through here and browse DVDs mm -hmm. or see what's on my queue. And I can um, select a movie and it will instantly start streaming it. Right to the device. Right to the device, right, right here. Streaming video, streaming music. Music, very important. Um, Pandora, of course, is one of the big music apps that people have on their iPhone. They've made a new app for the iPad. It renders beautifully. Uh, on the iPad, it gives you your um, list on the left, and then it gives you a little more detailed artist information while your track is playing over here. Important to note that these applications, these apps were de de designed specifically for the iPad. You can also run iPhone apps on the iPad. That's correct. You can run iPhone apps on the iPad. They won't look as good. For instance, I do have a Facebook app on here. It does not open as big. It just takes up the middle of the screen. The hmm. ones that are not designed for iPad don't render the whole screen. So basically about the, the screen space of the iPhone. Yes, exactly. They don't, they don't open up fully, and they don't take full advantage of... Um, the resolution of the screen and the space of the screen. All right. In a gratuitous attempt at cross-promotion, let's take a look at the ABC player. This is something that everyone was talking about when the iPad first came out, and I have to say it really, really is wonderful. They did a great job with this. You can find any show that you missed or that you want to watch on the train, wherever you are, mm -hmm. any of your episodes. It's got the menu up here. And you just scroll through. There are commercials. You do have to watch commercials just like you do 
on the computer or any other app. But these shows are free. These are free. And you can stream them. Can you download them or it's streaming only? They're streaming. Streaming Just only. streaming. So you need to have, uh, at this point, a Wi-Fi connection in a hotspot or a MiFi device? Yeah. For most of these apps, you always need to have a Wi-Fi connection or 3G when the 3G iPad comes out. Okay. Real fast, the difference in price point between the iPad and the iPad with 3G? Um, I think it's going to be about $150 when it comes out. And of course, depending on the capacity, um, you know, if you get a 32 gig or 64 gig, but it's going to be more expensive with the 3G. And of course, you have to pay for um, the 3G coverage, uh, the monthly charge for 3G. Awesome. Any other apps you'd like us to see real quick? Um, you know what? This is one that's really cool, just because I would never use it really um, but Epicurious, I mean, this is for people who like to cook. Mm -hmm. It's a cookbook, and it would never occur to me to use an app for a cookbook, but they have beautiful recipes here, and you can search it by, you know, an occasion. You can search it by a recipe or just ingredients that you have in your house. And they have great pictures. You can make a shopping list. I don't know that I would take this into the kitchen with me and get it really near the stove. True. Um, right. Does this have a wipe down screen? Can it's you, got a uh... wipe down screen. <laughs> but uh, it probably gets a little sticky. But Epicurious made a really, really beautiful app here. So I like that one a lot. I've been a big fan of their ones. iPhone app. So I'm sure the iPad app is even more fully advantageous. All right. ABC's Andrea Smith, our technology contributor. Thank you so much. This is really exciting. I can't wait to grab that from you as soon Always as we're done here on the Always fun to play with air. it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. ABC News Now. Good to know.